Right. So, I am from New Orleans, Louisiana, and we can be very rowdy down there. And so, I told him when I was coming up this way that I'm sure Lawrence would be much more rowdy. <laughs> and now it is up to you to move. <laughs> yeah! Go in! The louder you are, the harder he gets. <laughs> That's in my official bio that Marsha did not read. Oh, please give a hand to Marsha. Come on. She picked us up, put us up, gave us toast, threw us around, and Lucia, this is a magnificent, magnificent venue. So for those of you who like drinking, I hope you like my poetry, because that's what inspired most of it. Here we go. If you like it, clap loud. If you don't like the poems, clap louder. Just lie. Just lie. Lie your ass off. Here we go. Perspective. It was the last time you would stay over, ever, and I wasn't sad about it. We agreed to say it was not you and it was not me. But really, we know deep down that the next time we're at the bar telling our story, we will definitely say it was you. Yeah. My best friend for Tobe. I felt the vibration, looked down, saw he was calling me on the phone no less. No text, no email, no quick Facebook comment. A real person-to-person -person connection. We can go months without actually speaking. He hates talking on the phone. I answer quickly, what's happening, my man? Nothing. Only faraway voices mumbling amid background noises. I try again, one last time. Same, I hang up. I text him, hey brother, you must have butt dialed me. A response came quickly. No butt dialing, buddy. The phone was in my front pocket. And that sums up my best friend, a truly talented dick. <laughs> I fell in love with a poet. We all do sometime. I fell in love with a poet, which, I admit, will be a problem because of my massive, competitive, poetic nature. But not just because she is beautiful, which she is, but because she can write like a hammer to an anvil. In fact, her words are so good that I will end up stealing them one day. Not whole poems, but a word or two. A line, she says, when we wake up in the hungover morning, or as she reaches over me for a cocktail napkin, pen in one hand, burning cigarette in the other, without spilling her drink the coolest person in the place. And when I am on stage and she hears my new poems, they will feel strangely familiar to her. She will tell me that she loves my new stuff, and I will smile and pull her close, kiss her, and say that it is all because of her. One of those bar poems. This is actually a true story. Shot in a beer joint. She and her friends walk in, all high heels and loud rings. Do you have a drink menu? She giggles to the bartender. No, the bartender responds. You don't have a drink menu? No, honey, we make it up as we go along. The girl stands stunned. Then she and her bling bling posse turn and walk out. The bartender smiles and tells me, I love saying that shit to uptown drinkers in a downtown bar. <laughs> Today's forecast. The day began, it was sunny and warm. Blue sky and barbecues blazing. Then the wind, rain, and darkness fell. Hail shattered windshields, leaving glass thrown up and down the street. Pieces of trees were everywhere. I stood and looked down the block. It reminded me of every great relationship I've ever had. <laughs> oh. 